Hello my students in grade 10 and welcome back to a new chemistry lesson. Today we'll continue our periodic properties or periodic trends of the periodic table and uh, we will study another two new properties which are the electron affinity and the electronegativity. First of all I have to say that you have to relate all the properties to the atomic radius to, so don't forget what we said before about the atomic radius I said that the atomic radius increases down the group and uh, decreases across the period from left to right now what is uh, the electron affinity in fact the electron affinity is the opposite to ionization energy we said before that the ionization energy is the energy absorbed by the electron for for uh, absorbed by the atom by losing electrons sorry. but now the electron affinity is uh, the energy released when an atom gain electron so the ionization energy is related to losing electron while the electron affinity is related to gaining electron so what is uh, the electron affinity is the energy change that occurs or happens when an electron is acquired or gained acquired means gained by a neutral atom this is uh, the electron affinity the energy when an atom gain electron now we have to see the electron affinity increase or decrease down the group and across the period first you have to imagine with me that you have two atoms a small one and a large one and this uh, circle in green is uh, the incoming electron which is easier for an atom to gain an electron and save it to itself if it has a small size or large size and why try to think yes of course the smaller atom will attract or will gain the electron much easier than the large one and that's why because uh, this incoming electron in the case of the small atom will be nearer to the attraction force of the nucleus but here in the large atom the incoming electron will be large or uh, with a large distance or away or far from the attraction force of the nucleus so it's easier for the small one to save the electron gained by itself than the larger one you can compare the distance here and there for the small atom the incoming electron will be at a small distance from the nucleus small distance means uh, large force large attraction but here in the large atom the distance is uh, much bigger so less attraction or it can't uh, attract the incoming electron easy now we'll come to another thing we said that we have electron lost or electron gained by atoms when an atom lose electron it it's not an atom anymore it's not a neutral atom it becomes an ion and when the atom lose electron it becomes a positive ion why because in this case the number of protons becomes more than the number of electrons we said that the neutral atom in neutral atom the number of protons equal the number of electrons if I lose electron so the number of electron becomes smaller than protons so it's a positive charge so a positive ion is formed but when a negative ion is formed that's because an atom gain electron gain another electron and this new electron carrying negative charge so, so the negative charge will becomes more than the positive charges of the proton so the overall charge will be a negative one and this is a negative ion or what we call an ion so what's cation positive ion and what is an ion it's a negative uh, ion now we'll compare the radius of the positive ion to its original atom and the radius of uh, negative ion to its original atom here is a sodium atom which is metal and as we know all the metals lose electrons during the chemical reaction you can compare on the left side this is a sodium atom and on the right side this is a sodium ion or sodium cation as you can see the size of the sodium ion is much smaller than the size of uh, the sodium atom why try to think with me why the positive ion is smaller than its original atom of course here 
the nucleus in the middle it have uh, it has ability to attract the 11 electrons it has to attract the 11 electrons all the electrons here in the atom after losing this electron the force of the nucleus is distributed not on 11 on only 10 so it has more power to attract this electron it's power is distributed on 10 electrons only after losing the 11th one so here the nucleus attract 11 here in the iron it attracts only 10 so its power will increase on them leading to less atomic size or the size will be smaller in case of uh, positive iron on the contrary or on the opposite that will happen in the uh, non-metals when they gain electrons when you compare here on the left side is the chloride ion it is the negative ion of the chlorine atom and on the right side it is uh, the chlorine atom as you can see the negative ion is much bigger than the chlorine atom and that's why when an atom gain electron this new electron comes with its uh, negative charge and it will compete or fight or re repel with the, the original electrons that are found in the atom so more repulsion more fighting so this leads to increasing in the size of uh, the atom so the ion or the negative ion has greater radius than its original atom now here we compare some elements and their ions as you can see lithium atom on the left its uh, positive ion is smaller than its original atom the same for sodium the sodium ion is much smaller than its atom beryllium and magnesium all their ions are smaller than their original atoms because they lose electron they change the positive ion and the positive ion is uh, smaller than its atom but on the opposite you can see fluorine and chlorine the uh, ion of the fluorine is uh, much bigger than its original atom and here in the chloride ion is uh, bigger than its uh, original atom so the negative ion is bigger than its atom and the positive ion is uh, smaller than its atom now you can compare in the periodic table the ions together not the ion to its uh, atom the ions together the same as we said in the atomic radius down the group the size of the uh, ions increase and across the period the size of the ions decrease because we compare ions to each other ions of different elements with each other but if you compare a certain ion with its original it differs is it positive or negative iron now we come to something new which is the, the valence electron now we talk about the uh, atoms and how they lose how they gain what changes that happens during gaining or losing now we'll uh, study the valence electron and start to make compounds start to make chemical reactions what are the valence electron simply they are the electrons in the last energy level of any atom and these electrons are responsible for the chemical reaction the valence electrons are responsible for the chemical reactions so the valence electron are either gained lost or shared by the atom during the chemical reaction and they are the electrons that uh, are responsible for the chemical reactions so now we have a compound we have a compound what would happen for the atoms in the compound the different atoms have different abilities to attract the electrons of the bond the atoms are attracted together or what we say by a bond we, they are tied together by a bond we will study the next chapter the types of bond but if you have a bond you have electrons sharing losing or uh, gained by atoms uh, and making a compound with another atom the different atoms has dif have different abilities to attract the electrons of the bond that's we call the electronegativity so the electronegativity is a measure of the ability of an atom in a chemical compound take care of this word chemical compound 
because as we said the electron affinity the atom is alone it's not joined to other atom but here in electronegativity we have a compound we have two atoms together and we compare the ability of these two atoms for attraction of the electron so when you call the electronegativity you have to think of a chemical compound but if you are talking about an electron affinity you have only one atom no other atoms with it and you study the ability of this atom alone in the electron affinity for attraction of electron but in the electronegativity you co you compare two attracted atoms two atoms in a chemical compound so as we said the same as in the electronegativity the same in the electronegativity the same as in electron affinity as the size of the atom becomes smaller it will attract the electrons towards it easily and as the size of the atom becomes bigger it's hard for it to attract electron now as uh, this you uh, tug, tug, uh, tug of a war game you all know this game if the uh, players are with an equal strength or equal force no one can uh, win but if there is a difference in the force between the players so the strong player will attract the weak one or here I'm saying it will attract the electron of the bond towards it so this strong player this is the atom with the highest electronegativity which is the player in red will attract this electron more and more towards it so the stronger the force of attraction the more electronegativity so back to the periodic table and we can say the atomic radius increases down the group by increasing the atomic radius down the group so the electronegativity will become what will become smaller because it's difficult for the large atom to attract the electrons but the opposite in the period as we go from left to right so we have smaller atom easier to attract electrons so the electronegativity becomes uh, larger now uh, we come uh, to a problem to know more and more about the electronegativity here is uh, the uh, question of the elements gallium bromine and calcium which has the highest electronegativity by explaining your answer to know this you have to search on these elements on the periodic table we have gallium bromine and calcium to compare where they are here is uh, the calcium gallium bromine they all found in the fourth period they have the same period now try to think calcium on the left of the periodic table gallium here in group 13 and bromine in group 17 on the right side of the of the table which has the smaller size the smaller size will be the bigger electronegativity so calcium is here gallium here and on the right side there is uh, the bromine of course as you go from left to right the size becomes smaller so the electronegativity becomes uh, bigger so as we said they are all in the fourth period bromine has the highest atomic number means in the left side of the table and of course it has uh, the highest electronegativity by here uh, we reach to our uh, uh, lesson we reached to the end of our lesson hope you understand everything i'm waiting for your questions and i'm waiting for you on our online session as uh, announced for uh, from the school and till we meet again see you safe hope you all the best and bye